Hi everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to sh share with you just a small craft haul that I've uh, picked up within the last week or so. Um, and there's no particular, um, I really didn't buy any stamps or anything like that. Um, but let me just kind of go ahead and jump in what I did get. So um, first right off, I did go ahead and bite the bullet and buy the <clears throat> newest Distress Ink colors. I was going to wait to get the minis, but um, I'm still debating back and forth on whether or not to um, convert over to the minis. I've mentioned this before in uh, my past few videos about that and the reason for that, but I went ahead and picked these two up. Um, I bought these um, from uh, Butterfly Reflections Inc. And um, so I'm happy to have them. I did use them today on a project. Um, so if you follow me, my follow my blog or whatever, you'll see that um, coming up next week. But um, these are absolutely beautiful colors and I'm happy to have them in my collection. Um, this is Abandoned Coral and Cracked Pistachio. Uh, if by, for some reason you haven't seen these yet. so And if you haven't, you're probably living under a rock because they're everywhere. But absolutely gorgeous. So I'm actually happy to have these in my collection. I went ahead and picked up a... Um, Refill for my plus adhesive. Um, I didn't have any refills left, so I needed to do that. As well as um, a refill for the Tombow Extreme Adhesive that I have. I really do like this adhesive. Um, it's really good for um, projects or projects for um, panels that you really do need to stick down um, and not move because this adhesive will definitely do that. So, I mean, it's a good adhesive to have. Um, then I also picked up, um, mo the majority of this order came from Simon Says Stamp. I hadn't placed an order with them in quite some time, so um, that's where I got this, this stuff here, other than the Distress Inks. Um, I did pick up some Avery L pockets because I was out of them, and some of the storage pocket inserts. So, um, so I'm pretty good with my stamp pockets now. I haven't been buying too many stamp sets a whole lot lately um there again i've mentioned it before i just buy really what i use um, um i've really um really disciplined myself so i got some more stamp pockets so this should last me for a little while so happy to have that um this is not really a crafty thing but it is it's crafty related or as far as storage um i've got these i don't know exactly how many are in here but these are um, DVD um, divider insert or dividers. <clears throat> it's for my stamp storage. Um, I got the idea from Nakoma Gorks blog. She has something very similar. I didn't buy them from the website that she mentioned <clears throat> simply because I had a problem ordering off of their website. Um, I don't know. It's I don't know what it was it's um, so I went ahead and uh, found these off of eBay and um, and I got them then but it's a really thick um, like plastic type material it's a lot lot thicker than um, the folders that I had cut up um, and used as an in inserts um, these are a lot better quality um, and they won't get um, destroyed as easily as what I currently have so I'm happy to have these so I'm going to um, convert all of what I have currently by using these and as you can see I've got plenty so I'm happy to have these and then I picked up this is the last thing of my haul I picked up this collection here you can see that foil it's absolutely gorgeous and this color here I don't know if it's coming off camera uh, all that great but it's the mint minty green color with that gold foil and I'm really into um, framing 12 by 12 pages um, not just any 12 by 12 pages but ones that really do uh, speak to me and I'll get to that um, in a second but I absolutely love this paper I really don't know what I'm going to do with it um, I may just frame it and then maybe put I don't know I may I thought about putting something in the middle here maybe like um, a stamped quote or something like that and framing it. I'm not exactly sure, but I couldn't pass up this minty, minty background with that foil. So I picked that up. Um, I bought the this and this, what I'm about to show you from 
um, a cherry on top. So I got that. And then this here is, that paper is from My Mind's Eye. And this is also from My Mind's Eye. And this is um, up my alley. I don't buy 12 by 12 paper to create with. I do buy them for um, my backgrounds, for my um, photos, when I run for um, taking pictures of my cards. But I saw this and absolutely need, wanted to have it or had to have it. This is the uh, Niche, I think that's how you say it, Gallery Art Pad. Um, but what it is, um, it's from the On Trend Collection. Let's see if I can get this in here. On Trend Collection, it's got foil. It's got foil in it. And what it is, it's a pad uh, made, made for, it's got frameables in here. It's frameable art. Um, and it's 12 by 12 size. So you've got some that have the foil and then some that don't. But <clears throat> let me see if I can zoom out here a little bit more so you can see them a little bit better. <clears throat> I'm going to kind of turn them to the side here. But really, really cool. A really thick um, card stock too. But this is the first one. Of course, I've got it to the side. But... Um, this one says everything is awesome and then it says um, truly madly deeply and then happy day and it's got the gold foil in there and then this one says forever for, for, forever family together and I'm put, um, hitting everything on my desk um, then it's got the love and it's in gold foil and then this plus sign here Really, and I love these um, colors. These colors are up my alley as well. And this one says, don't worry, be happy. And then it says, be your own kind of beautiful. Again, and the gold foil. The gold foil is really, really hot right now, or any foiling for that matter, but I love the gold. Um, and this is um, my favorite out of the whole thing. It says, do more of what makes you happy. Don't quit your daydream. Um, so I have got a 12x12 um, a, um, 12 12 frame in my craft room here and I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it in that and I'm going to take this to work, um, my, my um, 9 to 5 job if you will. So um, because this really speaks to me, I love quotes like this because um, if I could I would do crafting for a living but um, since I don't you know make enough of course to live on that um, I just do it as a hobby for now um, and uh, so so that's why I love this one so much because it really does speak to me so that's my favorite and then the rest of them don't have any foiling on them but this one says two is always better than one and then this one says awesome sauce <laughs> and then make it work Whatever you are, be a good one. I have something, I have this very quote um, at work um, that's in a frame um, that's in a different pattern and everything. So and this one just says, be happy, and it's a floral pattern. I love the font too. And this one says, lovely. Sometimes I've believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. And a little ampersand. And then that was it. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Again, this is the Niche, I believe, how you say it, Gallery Art Pad from My Mind's Eye, and it's the On Trend Collection from Jen Allison. And then that's what the back looks like. So that was my haul, guys. That's what I wanted to share with you. Um, if you have any questions or um, any um, comments about anything, um, please just leave them below in the um, comments section below. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.